Nintendo Switch Insanity has reached an entirely new level this week in Japan, and that maybe shouldn't be surprising considering that this is the week that Splatoon 2 comes out. And the original Splatoon was extremely popular in Japan, and now you have a portable console-like device uh, that's been selling like hotcakes in Japan this whole time. So let's, let's just dive right in. So there are two specific retail outlets that we know about publicly, one in Osaka, one in another part of Japan, that had well over 3,000 people waiting in line today just for the opportunity to potentially buy a Switch. Essentially, you waited in line, you were given a lottery number, they drew 250 lottery numbers since they had 250 Nintendo Switches in stock, and if your lottery num number was drawn, you were given the ability to purchase a Nintendo Switch. Pretty crazy, and we've known they've been doing this lottery thing for a while, this isn't new, but the numbers definitely are. This is the highest amount of people who lined up. In fact, one person noted at one location that when he showed up at about 8.20 or so, this morning that the, he was number 2,600 in line and he figures by the time they started doing the drawing, there was at least another few thousand people behind him, meaning that we're talking about 5,000 to potentially 10,000 people that waited in a single line just for a chance to buy one of 250 switches. And there was another location that had around 3,000 people as well. This is obviously insane. We know in North America how hard it is to get a Switch. And I'm happy to tell you guys that this Friday, you'll be able to get a Nintendo Switch at Best Buy, GameStop, or Target in person if you're picking up a copy of Splatoon 2. Uh, obviously, that doesn't mean everyone's going to get it. There's going to be limited quantities. We all know this issue that's in Japan is an issue worldwide. It is extremely difficult to get Nintendo Switches worldwide. But, I mean... Just put that in perspective, right? I don't think there's ever been a shipment to, say, my local GameStop where there's been 250 Nintendo Switches you can go get, but there also isn't a line of 3,000 people waiting outside to get one, right? I mean, there's 3,000 people in my area that probably want a Nintendo Switch, but, you know, they're not all waiting out line to get it for, to, to wait for an opportunity and a lottery to be able to purchase one. It's like, man, you want to talk about how insane it is for that demand on the Nintendo Switch. And... I think this is all obviously good news for Nintendo. I mean, they're obviously, this thing is in such high demand in Japan alone, let alone worldwide, and they're having such a hard time selling it uh, or, or creating enough of them to sell that Nintendo is going to have the hottest electronic on the market, uh, the hottest consumer electronic that's not a cell phone, obviously, on the market for the foreseeable future. I don't think Nintendo has any chance of remotely catching up to demand this year or this fiscal year. Uh, I mean, this is th there are already people lining up for this in weeks in, in the past, and now people are lining up for Splatoon 2. We have Monster Hunter Double Crosses releasing in Japan next month. I mean, demand for that's going to be as high, if not higher, than it is for Splatoon. Uh, we have you know other games coming up, Fire Emblem Warriors, all that such. There's going to be Rocket League coming, Mario. I mean, the momentum for the Switch right now is insane. So I know a lot of people, you know, worry about, oh, we're, when are AAA third parties going to support it? Are they going to support it? Is the machine powerful enough? Right now, it really doesn't matter because the demand and the pace of game releases are so good right now that Nintendo just can't keep up. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about third parties. You know, I've talked a lot about third party games on Nintendo Switch. Uh, unless there's some big breaking news with third party stuff, I'm probably not going to talk about it the rest of this year. I think 2018 is the year to start targeting for that, where hopefully Nintendo can acquire more manufacturing parts and the part shortages on like NAND Flash starts to clean up a bit and hopefully Nintendo can catch up to demand because there's no way, you know, I talked in the past, there's no way Nintendo's doing this intentionally. They, they are not trying to shortchange they're not going to have 10,000 people line up and then tend to look at them and be like sorry 9,750 of you we really don't care about your money <laughs> That's not the way it works. Nintendo's a business. They want to sell. Uh, but what this does do good is for obviously Nintendo's stock. I, I foresee Nintendo's stock value continuing to rise because when you have such a high demand like this and you're selling out of everything you make, it's going to make the value of your company rise up significantly. Uh, I just hope Nintendo can meet demand before customers start becoming so frustrated 
that uh, they just give up on getting a Switch altogether. I mean, imagine if you're this person that shows up every single week in Japan waiting in line, and you've done this now for, say, a year straight. You're right, you've done it 12 months straight of waiting in line, and you still have not gotten lucky in the lottery. That would suck. It's really weird that they're even doing a lottery, but... Um, I mean, on the bright side, I guess you don't need to wake up and, and go out and wait at the store, you know, 2017 hours ahead of time. Anyways, I just wanted to briefly bring up just how high this demand is for the Switch, how crazy it's getting, and how I think Nintendo's pace of games is going to be fine for the rest of this year, and how thankful I am to have a Switch, uh, and that I did pre-order. Uh, Nintendo products are the one thing where pre-ordering really does matter, uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful I got my pre-order in. I did it in person the moment that GameStop opened the next day after the Switch was announced. So, I'm happy. I hope you're happy. And, as always, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. Otherwise, subscribe for more. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. You guys are what make this channel possible. And, as always, folks, I'll see you in the next one.